pesticide not required comes out in a few days we got some early access so you know we're going to be playing it i did not play the demo that was out previously uh so yeah let's let's go through the little tutorial thing here plant seeds seeds by walking over empty farm plots easy enough Use QE blah 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 to change selected seed. Walk near thirsty plants to water them. Your water count is visible top left. Walk near the well to refill water. Visit the merch ant at the end of each day to buy seeds and other goodies. Tip, focus on buying weapon seeds. Buy weapon seeds in shop to grow them. Harvesting multiple of the same weapon will level it up. Uh, okay. Use movement direction to aim weapons or stin twin stick controls. Well, we're not using twin stick right now. I don't have my... Well, I guess I do have my controller. But let's. we won't do that right now. I just have the old Steam controller, so it's not ideal for the twin stick stuff anyways. All right. So we, did we plant stuff? We got more stuff, we got more stuff that needs planting. Can we plant in the middle here? Kind of interesting. So here's our farm. Hey, we did some, ooh. Choose our reward. Apple healing, crop yield, less health regen. Damage knocked back, less mining speed, fishing speed. Well, we don't know anything about fishing just yet. Pretty good. XP gain and crit chance, that sounds pretty good. Damage, I think we'll do just the XP crit gains. More crit chance. Let's go with the uh, more wrath. We don't know nothing about mining. Oh, there's mining. Oh, and fishing. You just kind of walk by them. I mean, for this style of game, I kind of like that. You know, you just kind of go near stuff. Okay. What do we got? Wood axe seed. Mole turret seed spawns a mole friend that shoots nearby enemies. Uh, we have 300 bucks farming plots. Well, we're not ready for to expand the farming plots Let's grab two of these mole turrets max right and then I guess we just Grab Seeds so we can what could we plant? Was it we could plant six things at once? I think we just want Quantity, right? Let's just do that. We only got four seeds. Maybe we screwed up there. Planting speed, crop yield. Maybe we like crop yield. That's kind of interesting, but we know nothing about pets, so... Well, that's all of our planting. And we come down and do some mining and fishing. Caught a big one. Um, I think we just like, just take the damage. Don't mind the pickup range not knock back either. Is that it for the mole turret? Do the mole turrets follow us and just happen? 
Ooh, that's kind of awesome. Okay, mole turret seems pretty good. Oh, we can just go in the water too. Did not know that. Let's grab this move speed. That seems like it, it'll be pretty, pretty good. Okay, this has like fancy, fa a fancy screen around it. Attack size per resistance, but way less XP gain. I don't think, I mean, yeah, this just seems better, right? Long term, this is maybe better. Our mining, quite slow. Oh, come on. Okay, the shop is open. What do we got here? A bouncy ball seeds. seeds. Bounce between enemies dealing little base damage but high crit. Boomerang seed, toad oil. Let's uh, load up on these. And then we got yam seeds. I mean, do we really care? <clears throat> I think we're gonna buy all of these and all of these. waters plants for us I mean this is just like a fun little game I mean I don't really care what we're planting bouncy ball plus one amount sure Back get water. I can see how this gets pretty hectic pretty quick. And that's kind of fun. Attack size plus one max health per level. I think we're gonna try that. I don't even know where our what our max health is. I mean, cropping seems the best, right? Fasting ritual. Damage attack. Atta We're going to just take this. So, and then we just don't take max health ever again. We seem like we're killing things at a decent pace. Okay, let's get to the shop. Uh, do we want more weapons? Slices on both sides simultaneously. I think we'd rather do boomerang. Let's max out the boomerang. Farming plots, probably not quite worth it. I think we're just going quantity over quality here. Let's max these out. Not very many. Plus one damage per percent apple spawns. So does the minus health not max health not affect us either? Probably not worth testing that. Let's grab the crop specialist. I mean, we kind of like the crops more so far. Was this like a boss? 
I think we got a boss. Attack size, water capacity. I think we like that. Oh, ran out of water. Boomerang, I think we take the amount, right? That just, oh yeah, that's just boomerangs everywhere. We 100% love that. I really like this game so far. I kind of feel silly for not playing the demo now. Hmm, I think we do this. I don't think more enemies is bad. Toucan, plant seeds for you. I think we want the toucan. Retrieves loot for us probably pretty good as well. What do we got in the shop today? Yo-yo seeds, boomerang. I mean, we, we got the boomerang, so let's go all in there. Raspberry seeds. Uh, let's buy the farm plot and then we'll just buy whatever the most of the cheapest seeds. We're gonna chew through our seeds real quick. That's totally fine though. I kind of like this attack size. Attack frequency, I think I like this. Attack frequency just sounds better. Knockback is just gonna be solid as well. I mean, once you get your pets going, you can probably like ignore your, your farm. Piercing, damage duration. I think I like this one better. Just like more stats everywhere. Do we need to buy a boatload of seeds next round? That's going to be the end of our day here pretty quick. More enemies. Uh, let's just take the damage. Let's just go no negatives. Oh, we need the water. We need that water. We used all our seeds. That's good. I think I like this this one quite a bit here. We could take this and then just say we're not doing crits as well. Let's do the water capacity though so we can just go wild on, on farming. The sickle. Oh, that's interesting. I think we want the attack duration, though. I'm probably still going to take this. Oh, no. Let's take this crop specialist. Let's go all in on cropping. Okay. Fairy dance orbits around while moving further away and then back inward. Crow boom places a scarecrow that explode. I think we like this. All right. Um. Oh, another pet. Applies fast grow to crops, making them grow thirty percent faster. Uh, no. I think we want to just go hard on on the seeds here. Just buy a lot. Did 
Do a little bit of fishing. The flow of this is just very nice. I think we like the projectile speed on this. If I understand what the attack is correctly. Um, do the move speed. I don't, I don't really know what we're going to get, what we're going to get to level wise. So I don't really know when it's, when it's a good time to stop getting XP gain. <laughs> so much stuff on the screen already. But we got a boss here. Attack spot. I think I like that. Apple spawn, move speed, or just move speed. I think we like this long reach. Oh, taking some damage. Um, let's do this ore. We've kind of been neglecting that side of things and just cropping. We do kind of need to kill the boss. I think this is totally fine. We've not been doing anything with the, the apples. All right, tongue lash, bouncy ball. Oh, bouncy ball and boomerang. It's going to be all our money, isn't it? Stock zero. Oh, does this have a total stock? Okay, wheat seed, pumpkin seed, potato seed. Well, we want as much as we possibly can. So that's what we're doing. What do we get from the chest? I think we're just going to take the elephant. A little more help on the crops just seems good. Maybe our damage is a little behind now. Yeah, let's do the chalice again. bouncy ball I mean amount just seems good right so we just get more of everything <coughs> I guess for the bouncy ball maybe it's bounces that's a lot of crit chance let's take this Crop thirst, water capacity. I quite like that. The elephant is kind of awesome. Even when we run away, you can just like chill out. Fish speed when fish is caught. Fish yield, you know what, whatever. We'll take it, even though we've been largely ignoring fishing. The more fish, the more better we get. We we'll just go hard on the bouncy ball seeds. So this is a total stock between all of these. Um... Let's do the fairies this time. And on this side, I think we're just going cheap again. We can switch it up and do potatoes just because. Hey, okay, let's do that.
projectile speed, planting speed. Kind of interesting, but let's max out this long reach first. Get our fishing empire started one fish at a time. Yeah, I think we like projectile speed on the fairies. Just keep keep taking whatever has projectile speed there, I think. I, lo I love the amount of stuff that's going on in this game on multiple levels. Like we have all our, all our crop stuff, we have all our attacks going, plus we can simultaneously be, be mining and fishing. Fish spawns per fish speed. I was tempted to go the suddenly just switch to the fishing route. So much stuff happening. We're probably going to need to look at start looking at the pets more when we're doing everything. Uh, don't want to reduce our projectile speed. The game is starting to outpace us right now. There is just so much stuff happening. Plant seeds for you, waters. I think we want another elephant. I think that is more important than... Apple healing when apple collected. Didn't even realize the apples healed us, so... There's that. Let's do some more fishing. Okay, what do we got here? Just more fairies. Max. And seed-wise, let's go for these radishes. Maxed. And we'll do the... Oh, yeah, pets. Let's do another toucan. Oh, no, we can expand. That's great. Actually, expanding is great. And then we'll just we'll just max this too. Effectiveness to future projectile speed changes. We're gonna grab this. Now that we kinda want we'll wanna do a little bit more with the projectile speed. I think that's the way to go. Ooh. Plus four amount. Hilarious. Okay, the fairy dance is maxed. We do not buy the fairies anymore. But they look hilarious. Let's just grab this flat crit chance. That's got to be re at least reasonably good. The fairies are just so good. Probably get back over here and tend to our crops. Our little pet army. They're doing they're doing good work. Enemy loot yield. Sure, why not? Is there a limit to the runs? This is a great question. Shop opened. Okay. We do have the mole turrets, which we've fully neglected. Um, what is best for us here? Let's do the boomerangs. Why not? No pets being offered. I do think we'll take more of those. Uh, let's max those out. And that's that's our shop. Planting speed, watering speed. 
I think we're cool with that. Come on, fish. Okay, time to tend to crops. We don't have enough pets to like fully handle. Well, four, plus four amount is hilarious. I think we can take the crit damage. I think we have enough crit that that's good. Rerolls per level. We have one of these every level. Did not realize that. Let's use it. Water capacity. Maybe we grab this. Oh, we're getting swarmed. Okay, we are we are we're definitely no longer keeping up to the the pace of the enemies. Infinite pierce, that sounds too much. We'll do the Oh, boomerang's maxed out. Look at us go. I have no idea how many seeds we actually have in inventory. None. Okay, let's get over to the fishing. Let's get over to the fishing hole. Can we fish in mine here? Kind of. We did, like, 100% did not explore this map, like, at all. Damage attacks, attacks, I mean, enemy spawns is just, that's just death. Let's do it. Oh, Tongue Lash, that's our base, our base attack. I don't think we care about it. Bouncy Ball, we... Let's actually let's do the moles this this time around. Do we expand this? I don't know. I think we just want as many seeds as possible. Sure, we'll do these just because. Mole turret. Um, let's just have you just be flat damage. Retriever loot drops for you. We've been leaving a lot of loot on the ground. That seems totally fine to me. Yeah, let's just grab the damage. Let's explore a little bit too. Okay, not... We can't go super far. There's like nothing over here. Okay, so it's pretty much just the area that we were already chilling out in. Mole turret. I think we like that. Attack duration, attack size. That sounds great. We're just like randomly just taking whatever. There's barely, barely thought going into these decisions. I really like how ridiculous this is all getting. This is fantastic. What are we taking here? Let's do the projectile speed. Make our fairies happen at a more ridiculous pace. Tongue lash. 
try to max something out. Let's just go for our, our bouncy balls. Crop wise, we'll buy the cheapest. So the retriever just goes everywhere to pick up loot. That's super good then. Plus 1% attack size when ore is mined. Yeah, why not? Bouncy balls. We want the crit damage. I don't know what our... If we hit escape, can we see what our base crit chance is? Oh, it's only 35. So when we mine, we get bigger, our attacks get bigger. I mean, that seems like a good reason to just go and mine, right? We, and then just come back and, and be like, oh right, crops. Let's do the plus four amount. I do think that the amount is the number of bounces, not not the number of balls, which makes it slightly worse, but still pretty good. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that. It was minus projectile speed. Oh, well. Fertilizes crops. Yes, give me that. Give me the cow. The cow's out here just making everything better. Shop's open. Let's max this out. Um, I don't know if we actually got through all of our seeds, so that kind of... Kind of makes me want to expand, but I feel like this time we are definitely getting through all our seeds. So much loot. We need more dogs. Pickup range is actually fine. When the fairies go off, it's very noticeable. They feel like the MVP. Okay, moles are maxed. Attack size. You know, let's take that one. Pick up range and knock back sounds good, good enough. This probably would have been good early on. The pets are better than I thought. Let's grab it now just because. We're still in the research and development portion of this game. Where we're trying to figure out what the heck's going on. quite like this game I mean I'm sure you probably already figured that out do we expand here I don't know uh, yeah let's let's expand buy up everything from the shop Try to do some mining and fishing. 
percent coin gain per crit damage. I don't think we're in deep enough on crit damage for that to be worthwhile. I do think we'll grab this though. Get our crit chances up even higher. Damage crop growth speed. Let's do that. Tongue lash amount we definitely want. Now let's do this attack size. There's so many enemies coming at you. And you're just like, well, hope, hope we kill them all. <clears throat> and we just like, feels like we're going to fully max out our tongue lash in like one, one growth period. I like this attack size. Maybe that was the wrong one to pick, but I like it. Okay, we now now we're we got a bunch of fishing stuff that we'll never use. Oh, we've got so many seeds. We need more pets. Like way more pets. I'm sure that this is this is applies fast growth to crops, making them grow faster. Yeah, let's let's take you. Hey, we got two. It doubled up. Plant 50 crops in one. Oh, we got another enemy or another boss here. I do think I like the projectile speed. The bouncy balls are kind of funny. Um, I really want the the toucan. Take another cow though. I'm not sure if it spawned two for us or not. Crit damage, coin gain. Uh, let's yeah, let's do that. That seems pretty strong. We probably don't need that many, but we bought it. Capybara, we'll buy. Let's expand our land once, and then we just go from cheap to expensive. And see if we can buy everything out. We can. Okay, so we buy another crop expansion and another one. Okay, we max out the tongue lash. Plus three. I mean, this is, is so many stats. It's, a, it's too alluring. So we max out all of our attacks, I believe. It's so hard to tell what's happening on our, our crops. Fish spawns, fish yield, sure. We're totally a fishing and mining run, right? We do have the thing that increases attack speed every time we mine. So we probably shouldn't totally ignore this stuff. And the other thing that makes us better fisher the more fishing we do. Occupy all 48, so this must be the max we can do farming-wise. For a first run, this has to, we have to have done well. Wumbo, Wumbo, 
What's happened here? What has happened? Wumbo. Survive summer one. Oh, that's a win. That is a win. Chivos unlocked. Hey, we did, we got a boatload of stuff. <clears throat> that was, uh, that was great. Now we got our, our little Stardew Valley place. Oh, we got a bed. Choose your frog. So this guy's all about farming. This guy's all about fishing. I mean, probably fun to do like a, like a fishing or mining run or a fishing and mining one. Gain one of each pet. 100% chance to gain additional pet whenever recruiting one. Oh, you'd lose a lot of damage though. I guess there's the one pet that does damage though. You just have to rely on getting them. I mean, this is this is kind of awesome unlocking all these different guys. We'll probably just do uh, Finn for our next run. Our chi our chivos, our achievements. Anything else in here? What is this? Does that just start a run? Is this our yard? We got a nice little yard. I mean, I imagine there's nothing going on here. Okay, everybody, that's gonna be it for our first foray into pesticide not required. Uh, like I said, the game comes out in a couple days. We're probably going to be playing this a lot because that first run was a lot of fun. And would like to kind of, you know, check out some of the different... Just check out everything. That's what we want to do. We want to check out everything. So that's what we're going to do. But as always, everybody, thank you so much for watching. And I'm out.